Welcome back to Karlova Design Channel and today I'm gonna show you a tutorial for a small zippered case which is called La Empanada. It's a quick small project, you can make it in one day and you're gonna need a 7 inch long zipper and a small ring, could be O-ring or D-ring, whatever you have. There is also a strap, it's not included with the pattern, but you can download it for free from my website. Link is in the description, as well as the link to the pattern itself. It's a great project uh, to use your scraps. So let me remind you that this pattern, as well as all the other ones, have 50% discount on karlovadesign.com. So let's get started. The whole pattern fits uh, onto a single sheet of paper, so you might not have any problems printing it. I'm using a uh, 5, 5.5 five ounce uh, veg tan for the main part, and there's some scrap uh, for the logo patch. This is the zipper, and this is some soft leather, about 3, 3.5 three ounces, that I'm going to use for the zipper frame. Fun fact, this pattern had been copied by another shop on Etsy, but it's no longer available thanks to Etsy's copyright department. So if you had purchased something like this in any other shop other than Karlova Design or Karlova Design CA, the download is no longer available. And that one also had higher price than mine. So in order to avoid any problems, I encourage you to only buy original. Don't forget to mark those holes uh, for alignment. They correspond to two central holes on the either end of the zipper frame. So I'm going to use again my own method of uh, stitching zippers. 
with um, the paper baking. It's uh, some um, really heavy paper for drawing from a drawing album. So I just uh, basically cut a piece um, of uh, the same size and then tape it with two-sided tape on the back of the zipper so this way we can avoid over tightening and uh, the waving of the zipper and after the zipper is stitched the paper will be removed So now I'm gonna stick a two-sided tape on the sides. Make sure it does not get into the seams, otherwise the paper will be really difficult to remove afterwards.
Now I've decided to start the stitching from a different location because it would be a bit harder to finish the stitching in the corner. So I count 10 holes from the marked holes on each uh, body and the zipper frame and start stitching from there. Maybe a good idea would be uh, to count different directions so you can start and end the stitching on the back side of the case. Now I have to find a little o-ring and a little swivel hook for the strap. The ring needs to be about half an inch and the swivel hook uh, has to accommodate a three quarter inch strap. So I insert the ring in the ring holder and stitch it in between the frame and the body uh, in those uh, two central holes in the corner. And I would like to mention that the ring and the strap are just options so if you don't need them you may skip them altogether.
And now I'm thinking that uh, starting and finishing the stitching would be more convenient uh, somewhere close to the middle. So you might try uh, starting with like 20th hole or something like that. Now here is the strap and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video you can download it for free from my website and uh, there is nothing tricky to it. I'm using a Chicago screw uh, to put it together. You can use a rivet and this is it. So I hope you'll enjoy um, making this little case. I know a few people who made a couple of dozens of them already. And also like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss my future tutorials. Actually I'm considering making um, more video tutorials for my previous patterns. So uh, stay tuned and see you in the next one.